If we self-occupy, do we calculate anything? The answer is no. 60,000 or 80,000, which one is high? 80,000. Compare 80,000 with 80, if the answer is same, you will get 80,000 only. It is not income from house property. This is loss from house property. For net annual value, what we should do? We should deduct 30%. Now, Hello everyone, this is your other sir, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now, so we are in the session 3 of your chapter 3, that is your income from house property. In today's session, we will do two problems which are very important for your examination concern. As per this, the second problem is very important, but the first problem what we are going to do, that is only we are doing for the safer side. Why it is safer side means, the first problem what we are going to do, we cannot expect in your examination. It may come, but only for five mark. But the second problem what we are going to do, that is very important as well as, it is very easy as well as to score 10 mark. Now, so what is your agenda? Agenda is very simple. Problems on house property. Problems on HP, house property. Now, as per this, your problem number five. Kumar uses houses for his residential purpose. The following relate to this. These are the information they have given. From this, find Kumar's income from house property for the assessment year 2020 and 2021. Now, they have clearly mentioned that it is used for his residential purpose. His residential purpose means what? Self-occupied. If it is self-occupied, do we calculate anything? The answer is no. We don't calculate anything. The calculation part will not be there. Now, as per this, your municipal valuation, 60,000 and here 30,000. Failed, everything is given, but if it is self-occupied, we will not consider only. If it is self-occupied, we will not consider only. We want only what? We want only the interest paid. Only the interest paid we should consider. Now, as per this, the interest paid is 1,41,600. We want only interest paid. Why? Because both are self-occupied. Now, as per this, if you go, your net annual value, nil, your interest part 1,41, your answer is nil. But you have loss of 1,41,600. Now, your second house, we don't have any information like there is no interest. So, if it is self-occupied, we want only the interest paid. Now, we don't have any information about interest paid. So, your answer will be 141600 that will be loss. That is not income from house property. This is loss from house property. Now, as I told you, these are very important, but but you will not get in your examination. The expectation for this kind of question is very less, but you can expect in your five mark. Five mark, the evaluator do, doesn't want any calculations. He just want to know whether you know the concept or not. For that reason, you may get this kind of problem for five mark series, clear? Yes, now we'll go for next one. This is very important. Compute income from house property from the following information. Very easy, in five minutes we can solve this problem. Now, these are the informations they have given. Municipal fair, actual standard and municipal tax paid. Similarly, all the informations you have. In this, remember your fair value are municipal, whichever is higher. Standard rent, which are is less. Actual rent, which are is higher. These are the informations you have for your problem. We'll go and solve this. Now, 
first we'll calculate your annual value annual value it is nothing but your fair rent or municipal value which ever is high which ever is high now as per this now i'll go back to your question you have municipal value and fair rent 80000 and 1 lakh now 80000 are 1 lakh next you have 60000 and 80000 so it will be 60000 or 80000 next the next one it is 42000 or 60000 42000 40000 Next, the next one is ninety thousand or one lakh ten thousand. Ninety thousand or one lakh ten thousand. So we are comparing between your fair rent as well as municipal valuation. Now, along with that, we'll compare your standard rent also, whichever is less. That also I'll write down. Your standard rent is zero. This is zero. Your standard rent eighty thousand forty eight and one lakh twenty. So it is eighty thousand forty eight thousand one lakh twenty thousand. So these are the informations are available with us. We need to compare which one is high. Then we need to compare with the answer with standard rent, which one is less. Now. Eighty thousand or one lakh, which one is higher? One lakh is higher. One lakh or zero? Zero you cannot compare, so we can go for one lakh. Now sixty thousand or eighty thousand, which one is high? Eighty thousand. Compare eighty thousand with eighty. If the answer is same, you will get eighty thousand only. Now. Sixty thousand or forty-eight, which one is higher? Sixty thousand. So. Yeah, sixty thousand or forty-two, which one is higher? Sixty. Compare with forty-eight. Forty-eight, we should consider because whichever is less. Next, one lakh ten thousand or ninety thousand. One lakh ten is high, but compare with standard rent, then again one lakh ten only less. The concept is very simple. Out of these two, whichever is high. Answer and this which one is less clear? Yes. Now, along with this, we take actual rent. Actual rent. How much it is given? Your actual rent is given eighty, sixty-five, fifty, one lakh, eighty thousand, sixty-five thousand, then fifty thousand, and one lakh. So we'll check how much it is. It is actual rent. It is one lakh. So actual rent is how much? It is one lakh. So these are the informations we have. We'll go for your annual rent. Your annual rent, annual rent, or your net annual rent after doing municipal tax, you will get now. As per this, you will get which one? You will get which one is higher? One lakh is higher. Eighty thousand or sixty-five thousand? In this, which one is higher? Eighty thousand. So we go for eighty thousand. Now, your forty-eight or fifty, which is higher? Fifty thousand. We go for fifty thousand. Your one lakh ten and one lakh, which one is higher? One lakh ten is higher. So you got your annual rent. Now finally we got annual rent. We should minus or deduct what? Your municipal tax. What is your municipal tax as per this? Your municipal tax five thousand, five thousand, five thousand, and ten thousand. So it will be five thousand. Five thousand, 
5000 and 10000 what is your answer 95 and it will be 75000 and it will be 45000 and finally it will be 1 lakh so these are we call it as net annual value for net annual value what we should do we should deduct 30 percent now under section 24 we should calculate at 30 percent on 1 lakh easy, easily we can go for it is a 30,000 for 45,000 it will be 12 and 13,500 if it is 75,000 it will be around 20 yes 22 500 and for this it will be around 27 and 28 500 so these are the calculations we have now from 1 like if you minus 30 it is 70,000 from this if you minus it will be 31 500 if you minus this, you will get around 52,500. And the first one, if you deduct 95 minus 28,500, it will be around 66,500. So 66, it will be 80, 90, 5,000. So these are the informations we collected. And this is nothing but your income from house property this is nothing but your income from house property we have done annual rent we deducted municipal value you got net annual value later we calculated 30 percent of your net annual value finally you got your income from house property these are the calculation you can expect these kind of questions for 10 mark so very important in this we don't have any expenses or interest part if interest part is added then it will be your 50 mark question so i'll go back to all the slides so that you can take a screenshot this will be your problem number five and your solution problem number six your solution part and this is a continuation of your problem number six so this is all about your today's session we done with two problems on your income from house property now in the next session we'll go with more number of problems like the adjustments part we'll work out those also so that you will understand better thank you